Hey guys, what's up? Um, this is gonna be my quick tutorial on color correcting with Lumetri Looks, I think that's what it's called, which was introduced in Premiere Pro CC 2015. So yeah, let's do this. Um, this is gonna be showing you how to color correct things. It's not gonna show you how to color grade things. It's gonna show you how to get a proper white balance, um, which is nice to show what skin tones look like and whatnot. Um, the best that you can do it and the quickest way to do it. Well, I, I know how to do it. Yeah. Okay, let's go into it. Have your clip ready. Go to Window, Color. So have your clip selected. Go to your scopes. Actually, let's zoom in. This is how we're gonna do it. Let's zoom in to a neutral area where we know it's gonna be gray or white or black. So we already know this area is mostly going to be gray. I already messed this up just so we could show how it's going to work. So let's go to scopes. You see right here, we are going to match them up just so that they all line up on one line since it all has to be neutral. So we move them. I guess they're all just matching up near the highlights. So what you really want is to get them white. So that'll be the most, I guess, neutral color. So it'll just be white. So just do that. Now all I have to do is zoom back out, reset effect, and then it is clean. So it's just gonna show you that it's not gonna work on everything. Um, here in Uniqlo, there are just so many different light sources in this shop. So we can, let's balance for her shirt. So we're gonna go back into here, make sure it's selected. FX controls, scale, zoom all the way into her shirt. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. As close as you can. Just so that you won't be confused on what, like all these different lines and whatnot on the scopes. Scopes. Um, so we match it the best we can. And since there's still blue that's missing out of here, we'll just go into the color wheel. Go to, should we just? Yeah, we'll do mid-tones. Color wheel and then just pull it. Uh, see, you could like move it around and whatnot. Let's just pull the blue up. So add more blue to it. Too much. That should be good. Let's check the shadows. That should be good. Keep in mind, this is only for like first pass and whatnot. See, that looks bad. So then we can, let's go into a wall. That'll be much easier. Go into a wall. Scopes, see like all these like different things. Here's a correction. Just do it in the color wheel. It's just way too much green. Zero, zero it out. Cut. Some blue, too much green. Some blue. Just really push and pull. Let's go to the color wheel. Sometimes this isn't going to work 100% because of your different light sources. Zoom out. It seems like this is the cleanest we can get it. Since like you can see over here is like bluish lights. There's some yellow lights over here. Whatnot. 
and you could just like fine tune them all. So yeah, this is just like an easier way of getting all your stuff to almost the same color balance or just like neutral looking. And then you could just throw a look on top and whatnot afterwards by just going to add a adjustment layer on top of the entire video. And then you could use the adjustment layer with those lumetri looks on here. Go like creative, you can go add a LUT. Add a LUT to it. And you can like always go back in, change exposure, change contrast, bring up shadows, whatnot. Let's bring this out. So you get the skin tones looking as close as you can, or like just get everything neutral. Throw the LUT on, and everything should look kind of similar, and then you can just fine tune them as you go. So yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope this helped anyone, because it helped me a lot. And yeah, thanks, bye.